Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous videos, we are continuing the event at selection screen on value request for whatever the field you are specifying for the selection screen or input screen. Now in our current requirement, we will go for two F4 help, one for the payment mode, one for the currency. For the payment mode, yes, we will override the existing F4 help by our own F4 help and we will assign a new search help to the currency. Now, we all know whenever we will click on to F4 button, which event will call at selection screen on value request for whatever the field you are doing F4. Yes. Now, in the previous video, we also discussed that this function module will help us to assign a search help to assign a search help to the field or we can say field of the selection screen or input screen. Now we will start with the logic part. But the search help or F4 help we want for payment mode. C, credit card payment. D, debit card payment. N, net banking payment. It means we require how many rows? Three rows. We require how many column? Two column. But this first column, in the first column, C, D, N will be there. In the second column, credit card payment, debit card payment, and net banking payment will be there. We require this kind of F4 help. It means we require a internal table. Internal table has how many columns? Two columns. What is the first column? First column is all about payment mode. C, D, N. Second column is all about payment mode description. Means credit card payment, debit card payment, net banking payment. It means we require a internal table of two column and we will insert three records to that internal table. You all know very, very well, whenever you want an internal table of two columns, it means firstly you require a structure type of two columns. So firstly we will create a structure type of two columns. I will go for types. Begin off. Suppose I will write LTY underscore PM. Okay, for payment mode. But it's first column. Payment mode type. I'm specifying the data element of payment mode. I'll go to SC11. This is the data element of payment mode. Because anyways, it's one character long. Now, we need to give that description. Suppose name of the column is DESC type. Suppose I'm using a SAP predefined data element. This is SAP predefined data element because name starts with D. If I will double click, this data element has a domain of character 40. It means this DESC column has a length of what 40, 40. What is the type character and length of 40? End of LTY underscore PM. Now I will declare internal table and work areas. LT underscore PM type table of LTY underscore PM. We all know whenever we are using structure type, the keyword will be type table of. Now I will write. LWA underscore PM 
L T Y underscore B. Now we will insert the reports to internal table. You all know very, very well whenever you want to insert the records to internal table, we have a internal table operation append, append. Yes, append always insert the records at the last of the internal table. One by one, we will pass the record to work area. From the work area, we will pass it to internal table. It's a repetitive learning. So what is work area? LWAPM. What is first column? Payment mode. PM. What is first thing? C. LWAPM. What is second column? DESC. This is two columns you gave. DESC. DESC. Now we will give what C stands for credit card payment. Now our first record is in work area. We will append it to internal table. We all know the best practices. Always, always clear the work area after every append statement. Now, I will simply copy. We'll go for second record. But the second thing, B, and we will write debit card payment. Now, we will go for third. Third will be net banking payment. We, uh, we will assign our own value help with these three values. Net banking payment. And we discussed so many times, but the best practices never, never hard code in one language. Always, always use text symbols. So suppose I will give text hyphen 007 I will create from here itself okay text 007 is already available I'll go for 008 I will simply cut this and we will write there that is best practice we already covered always increase the length suppose if it is taking the different length just increase the length here now it is taking full now we will write text hyphen 009 That is your debit card payment. You can directly go from go to text element, text symbol also. It's your wish how you want to go. Text hyphen zero one zero. And this is our net banking payment. If we know something best practice, we should always follow that. This is our net banking payment. Net banking. Okay, I'll increase the length. not accepting the full text it means the length is small here you can increase them i will activate we'll go to back button so three records we inserted to this internal table now this function module 
will help us will help us to assign these three records to our field to our input field of the selection screen